Hello everybody and welcome to this tutorial. Today I will start talking about network card modes. Thus far we have only been using promiscuous mode which is one of six and it allows you to capture when your network card is functioning in that mode it only receives traffic intent for it and thus Wireshark allows you to capture traffic only intent for you and the traffic that you are transmitting to somewhere. However, network cards have different modes, namely monitor mode, which is especially important for us today, enables you to monitor the traffic of the entire network, basically of all the packets that are passing either through you or by you via wireless or something of a kind. In any case, I will just go briefly over the other four so that you have a general idea of what they are and what they can be used for but of main importance, of greatest importance, is this monitor mode as it allows you to monitor the traffic of the network. There are other ways to do this and I will show them to you in the next tutorials, but for now I wish to go over this, over this method. So first off, you have of course promiscuous mode, which I already talked about, so I'm just going to go ahead and skip it here. Next up is monitor mode, I've also mentioned it, and it we shall do here in great detail. I will show you how to enable your wireless card to go into monitor mode, and more importantly, you will need to know whether your wireless card actually supports it or not. But there are workarounds for that as well, if, it does not if your system does not support it. If the drivers do not support it, that is. You have a master mode. Basically, uh, if you set up your network card as, as a master mode, that can also be a good idea to monitor traffic as your computer, but generally this is not done via computer. You can have a small Linux computer whereby uh, you, configure, you configure its network card to be in master mode and therewith it is an access point. So other devices can connect to you. You are connected to internet, I don't know, via some router, router or something of a kind and all the traffic goes directly through you. So that's also one of the other options, but usually master mode run, those are your routers, uh, modems, switch, maybe some switches, and so on and so forth. Next up, you have ad hoc network, ad, ad hoc uh, network card mode. Basically, ad hoc is peer to peer. You can connect two devices to communicate uh, to each other via wireless or something of a kind, which is not really of interest to us today, but I just wanted to mention it there. Next up you have MASH. Now MASH is an internode communication. Now here's what I mean by it. Let's say that you have uh, three devices, so A, B, and C. A would communicate to B over C. So they just keep jumping from one to another to another and so on and so forth until they reach their destination. You have the final mode that you have that I have not mentioned here is a repeater mode. So you can set your either router switch or your Linux box or something of a kind to be a repeater. Basically not the machine itself but the network card. All the, all the information, all the packets that, that it receives, it just repeats them. It doesn't do anything else, it just repeats them. A very good idea if you want to boost the, boost the range of your wireless network or something of a kind. You have, can have several repeaters and you can cover a large area, although the greater area you cover, the more hops need to be made, therefore the connections can get a bit slow. That can be somewhat problematic, however, yeah, there are workarounds for that as well. You just buy more expensive hardware and there you go. Now, in the follow-up tutorials, I will explain in great detail how you can figure out whether your network card or your network adapter supports monitor mode or not. This is very important to know, primarily because there are a good amount of network adapters, network cards out there that do not support this mode at all. And in that case, if you have an integrated wireless card, you will need to go and get a USB network card, network card which you can use for monitor mode. Prior to that, you would of course check its compatibility with the mode. In any case, uh, this will be a mini-series within a course that will enable you to monitor traffic 
uh, on wireless networks, so general traffic on wireless networks, not just one that is coming from your machine. Very important, especially if you are if you have a business of some sort or something like that, and you wish to figure out what is going on on your network. This is only one of the ways in which you can do it. Of course, there are other ways, and I will show them to you in the follow-up tutorials. But for the time being, we will deal with this. I bid you farewell and I hope to see you in the next tutorial where I will explain this in great detail and I hope that it will be of great use to you.